What's happening, Indigo Film? Welcome to vlog number six. You already know how we coming. I'm in a different little setting. You feel me? Today, I wanted to talk to you guys about suffering, right? It's a inevitable part of human life, no matter what. No matter what you do to improve your mind, body, or soul, you're always going to experience pain, right? What we do with that pain after that is up to us. What most of us tend to do is to start being in pain and then we put that pain inside of our head and we multiply that pain a thousand times to where it becomes suffering, right? What the Buddha defines enlightenment as is the end of suffering, right? That's a negative, negative definition. And by negative definition, I means like, he's not saying what it is. He's only saying what it's not. That leaves you with the question like, all right, so now you tell me what enlightenment is not. What is enlightenment? It doesn't leave you with the answer. And I, if fucking Buddha himself can't elaborate, I'm not even going to step to him and try to be like, all right, I can elaborate. Like, no. Essentially, it's inside of you already. And there's a lot of different things that could trigger enlightenment. It's not like a superhero thing. It's not like, for, it's not like something just happens and you're just like crazy all of a sudden. Or you're like superhuman. It's a shift of perspective in a sense. It's like ditching that idea of the self. Because you are not your mind. You're not your body. And you... If you are not aware that you're not your mind, then it's very hard to identify the spirit. Because the spirit is everywhere and inside of you. So it's like... Basically... It's extremely hard to do. Like, you have to... I mean, it's not hard. Like, it's a... It's a whole, like, loop because... It feels hard, but after you do it, you realize that it wasn't that hard. Type of shit. Basically... Let me sit down because people looking at me like I'm crazy over here talking to my phone. <laughs> Basically... Once you realize type shit... That your mind is not you. Your thoughts are not you. You are not you. And dial it back and accept what is going on in the present. And accept the present as a gift. You can get into that state of enlightenment. Of pure love. But it's something that you have to keep working on. It's temporary just like everything else in life. It comes and goes. You'll go back to your old ways or whatever. Ideally, what you're trying to do is get to your middle self. Because right now, what 99% of us are residing in is our lower self. Which is, for me, would be indigo. Or it would be this vessel right here. That's this. But... Outside of that, there's something that we all are that's interconnected to everything else. And it's, like, amazingly fucking beautiful. It's so beautiful, like, you, you're you going to cry. You're going to cry. And it's a beautiful feeling. But after you get that feeling, it's kind of like an addiction. Like, you want to keep getting to that feeling, right? The key is to get to your middle self. You have to operate through this vessel projecting projecting the higher self if that makes sense live out through your soul more so than your ego but your ego is it is the filter that your soul is going through right there's a reason why I made this before I made any major spells about any major videos about spells or magic and shit like that because 
that is the very first step to becoming your middle self or becoming a magic practitioner whatever it is that you're trying to go down the path of right it's the very first and most important step for you to have a magic mind and we all have them underneath all of these fucking layers of onions that have been built on top of us we're really like onion bro once we get to the middle layer we're all the same we just build all these different fucking layers on top of us and layers and layers and layers you gotta peel back all them layers one by one and what will be left pretty much is the magic mind is that imagination that we have work kids we have to train our brains to not discredit shit as real because the fact of the matter is if you can imagine something then that something can be regardless of how crazy or how outlandish shit sounds it only sounds that outlandish and crazy because we haven't done it yet i'm sure people flying up in the skies at the speed of sound in jets would have been would have sounded ridiculous a couple hundred years ago telling somebody yeah you can fly in the sky faster than sound we were like faster than sound that don't make no sense or the speed of sound at that that don't make no sense but it, i guess it does because we're doing it now you feel me so you have to broaden your horizons open your perspective try to look at things without that initial judgment right the first step is to be in the magic mind all the time because you can do spells so you can do different ceremonies and rituals without being in the magic mind and still being in a chaotic in a chaotic my bad loud ass motorcycle decided to fucking drive by right while i'm making my fucking video so you know how that go that fucking motorcycle just motherfucking photo bombed video bombed me with their fucking hip-hop slappers see i really 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 have to work on my potty mouth. that's every video i'm starting to notice it and it's like at this point it's not even funny anymore like it's not even cool <laughs> like i'll cuss every five seconds and i could definitely see how that's hindering my personal journey so side note words words are spells vocalizing words and or writing them spells that's the definition words have extreme power i know we all heard this from our grandparents and our parents and all that shit. And careful what you say because your words have power. And if you're a man, then you get taught at an early age that one of the most important things that you have is your word. If you don't got nothing else, you got your word. The reason behind that is because culturally, we know that words are best. And we know that they hold weight. So try to be as conscious as possible as of your thoughts and words and try to make them align, align with what you want because if you're casting spells for something that you want and then the next spell that you cast by spell i mean talking the next thing that you say is oh, i don't know if i could really accomplish that or something <laughs> you're not going to accomplish it at least not right then and there you already did another spell to negate the spell you just did so be extremely careful of your words Write down your thoughts. Keep a journal or a diary of your thoughts. Go back and look at your thoughts and pay attention to where you have grown. Look back at situations that you're frustrated in that you didn't think you were gonna get through and see how you got through them. And remind yourself that anything bad going on right now is only temporary. See God, likes to put challenges in our way like we're on this earth for him to test us and 
a lot of times we fail those tests. <laughs> My bad, some like dog started walking up with me. But a lot of times we fail those tests because we forget that we just passed that test. Like if we do something, if we make a mistake, right? And then something bad happens. What happens when you make that same mistake again? A same bad thing is gonna happen. So you really gotta look at your life and the patterns and shit that you're doing to see why anything bad's happening to you. See, and that's gonna sound cold and most people aren't gonna understand that shit. You feel me? But you gotta dig within. You gotta dig deep within. Because everything bad happening to you is a product of your mind. And I had been in your position where I'm like, the fuck do you mean as part of my mind? Why would I put myself in this fucked up ass position? You feel me? But that internal mindset in itself is enough to put you in those situations. It's hard to hear. We don't want to hear that. We're responsible for our own downfalls. But the flip side and the good side of that is we're also responsible for our successes. All right. I don't want to start making these videos way, way, way too long. So I'm going to start. I'm going to cut this right here because I know it's at about 10 minutes. I'm going to have another episode for you guys tomorrow. Drop down in the comments ideas or things that you want me to make videos about. Turn on your notification bell so you can see because I'm planning on posting videos daily. If you haven't already, hit the subscribe button. And like and share this video. Send it to somebody that you think might need it. Um, other than that, one love. I love y'all. And go film. Let's get.